We are hungry. We're always hungry here on Good Day Austin. <laughs> we love having Emily Madden from HEB's Cooking Connection on the show. Welcome. Always great to have you here. It's always nice to be here. Um, We're making sandwiches I today. Know. We love sandwiches. They're just easy and simple. And, and there's nostalgic. so many different things them. you can do mm -hmm. with them. But uh, today we're doing a nice little fancy panini. I've got some fresh baked sourdough bread, which you can't go wrong with there. And I'm using an organic pesto that we import from Italy. Oh, you imported from Italy? Are yes. you kidding? Yes, yes. Wow. So I'm just going to smear this on one side yeah, of the Genova bread. Yeah, Genova is what it says here. Beautiful. Yeah, it's so, a really so nice that's pesto. instead of like a mayonnaise or mm -hmm. a mustard, something yeah, like that. Yeah, and it's going to add so much more flavor to your sandwich than a mayonnaise or a mustard would. So we're going to start with the pesto, and then a couple fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. however many tomatoes you want. Yeah, she's got vine tomatoes here. They're looking absolutely I like absolutely those because beautiful. they stay better longer because they're oh. on the vine. So I didn't they'll last know that. a little longer at your house when you keep them on the vine. They, like they're that. more affordable, I think, than, than the other tomatoes. That's why I buy them, but I had no idea that they, they mm -hmm. stay fresher in the fridge. And they taste so much better. Um, I think we've all gotten that tomato where it just tastes like water. And you want to taste a tomato. Yeah. Um, so now I have a spinach and arugula blend. We're just going to put a small handful of that on there. And now black forest ham. Oh, beautiful. And this is, I got this from the deli, sliced on a one. I like my meats for sandwiches like this, yeah. nice and thin. And so you just put however much you want. And now the meat you can totally change. Um, I couldn't decide yesterday when I was creating this recipe if I want to do turkey or chicken. But I just felt ham would go great with the brie. That ham we're is good. Put brie. Yes, yeah. yeah, that's so one this of our favorite cheeses. This is the H E B right brie. Tastes just as good as the any other brie, and we take we get this from France. It's amazing to me how many of these imported products you get. I mean, you've also got no. This one is from. Well, this one is from from Italy. It says product of Italy mm, back that's here. That's a prickly pear Italian soda. Mm -hmm. And that goes so well with this sandwich. That's my favorite of all the Italian sodas is the prickly pear. And if you want to change up your mimosa, <laughs> instead of orange juice, use the prickly pear juice. It's don't don't so I good. love these ideas? I think we have about a minute left. So as you, as well, you continue making done, the sandwich. The sandwich is done and then you just put it into your panini press or mm -hmm. you can use a skillet. If you don't have a panini press but you want the same idea and want to cook it as fast, Heat up two skillets, oh. put your sandwich in one, take the other hot take skillet and it, put right? it on top. I forget about and that. And then get something tip. heavy that won't burn and just set it on top of your panini or on your other skillet. Now and you brought like you a brought a sandwich fest. because you guys have the HTV percent. Our sandwich fest starts yes. on Wednesdays tomorrow. Goes for two weeks and we're going to be doing sandwiches, 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 all sorts of sandwiches. So this is about done now. We're just going to take this off. Can I top it with an olive, not so much an olive oil, uh, butter? You know I like real See, butter. See, I use the basting oil instead uh -huh. of butter. Um, it's slightly healthier, but you can use uh, butter. Mayonnaise works really, really well also. And really, you can do anything with cheeses, excuse me, with uh, sandwiches, paninis, what have you. This mm -hmm. is an idea because sometimes we get into this rut of just ham and cheese, turkey and cheese, a little bit of lettuce That's and tomato. That's why people say sandwiches are boring. But they're they, not. They get in the rut. But if you get out of that rut, there's so many different sandwiches. Yeah, you have you so make. many different sorts of greens and cheeses and oh, meats. Oh, yeah. And look at and that look sandwich. At that. <laughs> look at that. That's a sandwich for you right there. Oh, we love so that. So good. There you go. So yummy and easy. Dig in. Don't forget about HEB's amazing sandwich extravaganza starting tomorrow at all HEB Cooking Connections. Emily, thank you. Thank you.